What's up everybody, Christian James here. Today's video, Wonder Woman 3 is not happening. It's not going forward. So according to Deadline here, it says in the upcoming DCU, DCEU, whatever the hell in the world they call it, and the first big bold move by the new heads of DC, James Gunn and Peter Safran, Deadline has confirmed that they've put the kibosh on Patty Jenkins' treatment for Wonder Woman 3. The filmmaker was expected to hand in a screenplay, we understand, and instead, the new bosses got pieces of paper that just weren't suitable. All of this goes down a day after a curious tweet from Wonder Woman star Gail Gadot, who thanked fans and told them, can't wait to share her next chapter with you. Alright, I'm a big fan of superhero movies. I like big blockbuster movies. Right? They're fun, they're entertaining, they're action-filled, they're... Good guy fights the bad guy. Bad guy sometimes gets ahead. Good guys come back. Good girls come back too. Calm down. And then, you know, usually the hero prevails, right? Now, what the Wonder Woman movies, the first one was okay. Two was unwatchable trash. It was such a bad movie. It was so hard to follow what was happening. <sighs> like... The person I watched it with is a huge Wonder Woman fan. The character, before it became movies standalone, she always liked the character, right? She was a big fan of the character. Even she hated the movies. Even she thought, well, not the movies, the movie. Even she thought Wonder Woman 2 was unwatchable trash. It was so hard to follow. And also, why in the Wonder Woman movies can't Wonder Woman fly? Why is she always running everywhere? Why is she always so damn weak? But... So according to Deadline, there was supposed to be a third one coming out, and they put the kibosh on it. They, they, they said it's not going ahead. Well, probably because it's unwashable trash yet again. And this time, Gail Gadot was set to make $20 million. And look, nothing against Gail Gadot. If the movie makes what an Iron Man movie makes, a Thor movie makes, a Captain Marvel movie makes, uh, a Justice League movie, movie makes, then she's worth $20 million. But... The movies themselves, the last one was just trash. And again, nothing against female superheroes, right? They're good enough. They're just the same as the males. Raw, 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 femininity and masculinity and all that crap. It's just unwatchable trash. And I know some people are going to be like, that's not fair. It's good, good, good movie. Good masculinity and fucking patriarchy and all that horse shit. But it's unwatchable trash. Hopefully DC has taken something from Marvel and realized we need to have an outlook for a decade right if you're not a fan of these movies this is lost on you but if you're a fan of superhero movies marvel realized we have to set this out for end game 10 years down the road 12 years down the road whatever it was so we start with i think it was iron man one and we end with end game right i think it's the, the second half of the movie end game where thanos finally loses spoiler alert with DC, there's never any clear direction, right? The Aquaman movie was okay. Um, the Superman movies, I don't care which one it is, whether from the 80s or not, with the guy who broke his neck, or the Henry Cavalli ones, or, sorry, uh, yeah, Henry Caval, Cavalli, whatever his name is. They're just not good movies, right? I just can't get behind him. He's too friggin' nice. Like, that, that's all it is. Black Adam, I went to the theater and watched. I thought that was a fantastic movie. Because he does the thing that makes sense, like, He's holding them up in the air, right? Like, you're going to kill good people? Yeah, he just drops them. Spoiler alert. But that, to me, makes sense. Like, the problem with Batman, right? Batman has let Joker go 400 times. And then he always kills more people, and then Batman gets them again. Stop doing it, I'm Batman. Mm, Batman, Batman, right? So, with this one not going ahead now, people are outraged, apparently. But at the end of the day, you need to make movies that people want to watch that aren't just nonsense. Okay, so I'm just going through the article real quick. I don't read any of this stuff before I just jump on here. I just give you guys my thoughts. All right, so let's get to Gail Gadot's tweet, right? A few years ago, it was announced that I was going to play Wonder Woman. I've been so grateful for the opportunity to play such an, an incredible, iconic character. And more than anything, I'm grateful for you. The fans can't wait to share her next chapter with you. Okay, and then one source close to... to one source close to the situation told Deadline that Jenkins could very well hand in another take on the superhero, but it's not evident that will happen. There will there was loose talk there was loose talk out there that 
talks broke down with Henry Cavall, Cavalli, whatever his name is, to reprise the Superman role despite his Instagram announcement to return before Saffron and Gunn took the top job. But there's no script or director or green light for the next Man of Steel movie. There are staffers at Warner's who remain in the dark as to what Gunn and Saffron's grand design is, but they're focusing squarely on story and how the movies will inter inter interconnect with TV series. Wonder Woman 3 was promptly announced in the wake of the theatrical day and day and date bombing of Wonder Woman 1984. That's number two. Warner's held the movie through the pandemic, but decided to go to th to go theatrical and on HBO Max at Christmas 2020 as the first title in the Jason Killar run Warner Media HBO Max dynamic window experiment. That's such a bizarre turn of phrase. While the first Wonder Woman in 2017 was a box office revolution for a movie directed by a female, who cares who directs the friggin' movie? Is it good or not? Earning $822 million, the sequel was greatly panned at 58% Rotten Tomato, Rotten on Rotten Tomatoes, and a B-plus cinema score for the first chapter's A. Okay, so the first movie got an A, this one got a B. The way these people write, no wonder journalism is failing. This is hard enough to read, let alone recite to you guys. <sighs> This, despite the fact that it was shackled at the box office by major markets in L.A. and New York cinemas were closed due to COVID, Wonder Woman 1984 made up under $170 million, uh, worldwide with under $47 million statewide. Jenkins, okay, so I'm not going to keep into what the director said. Look, at the end of the day, the movie is terrible. Now, I get Black Adam, even with The Rock's power, did not make what they wanted him to make, Right? Waited, like here's from The Rock, a tweet. Waited to confirm with financiers before I shared this excellent Black Adam news. Our, fa our, film, uh, our film will profit between 52 and 72 million a fact. Almost 400 million worldwide, we are building our new franchise step by step. First Captain America did 370 for the DC future. So look, that is correct. The Rock, they are headed somewhere. And Black Adam, I know a lot of critics pooped on the movie. It's a good movie, right? It's exactly what you expect it to be. It's Black Superman, but instead of being the good guy who always lets him go with a stern warning, don't do that again. He just dropped him from the sky. The first guy in the movie, he grabs. He just holds him, and like he's got electricity and crap going through his body. He holds him to the point where he turns to dust. It was a fantastic movie. Wonder Woman, again, Wonder Woman 2 was so confusing, but yet Wonder Woman in the Justice League movies, especially the, the redo with Zack Snyder, was fantastic. Right? Her movie, again, and it's nothing against the Wonder Woman character, it's the people writing the movie. If you can't write, you can't direct it, because you have to start with what you have on paper. It was trash. I hope the next one is great. I hope Gail Gadot comes back. I don't like when people switch in and out of people to play superheroes. Luckily, it doesn't happen a lot anymore. You know, in the 90s, you had this guy was Batman, this guy was Batman, this guy was Batman, this guy was Batman, and this guy was just Batman, and then this guy was Batman. All right. So hopefully we'll keep her for Wonder Woman. Hopefully somebody else writes just a simply better script where she can fly and kick more ass and take more names. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm out.